Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode. As most of you know, this is the free vintage giveaway, first Monday of the month. We give away a free vintage item, which I will be showing you at the end of this episode. So, uh, you want to be a subscriber and you want to comment on this episode and the following Monday we'll give that thing away. So show you what you can win at the end. Let's get to what uh, we found this week. Now, this is a themed, kind of a themed episode. It's not a thrift store haul. It is a, a flea market haul, an indoor flea market, which really is more like an antique mall. But uh, what distinguishes an antique mall from a flea, an indoor flea market, usually the indoor antique malls are a little stuffier, a lot of stuff behind glass. Uh, this is a lot of stuff you can put your hands on, you can put in a basket, walk around with. So, um, tough to make money at an antique mall because these people are dealers. So they have to pay their rent and they have to factor in their cost and you know, so there wasn't, there was a lot of stuff that we liked, but just wasn't, uh, didn't have room for us to buy it and then resell it. But these are the things we did do that with. So let's get to it. Uh, starting here, starting small, small, this clock, it's a, uh, alarm clock. It's got the cool smoked lucite. It does swivel like this. That's why I bought it. It's got these two little little bits of flare, you got the smoke, you got the swivel, kind of cool, it was $2, I mean, you're giving it to me at that point, I'm going to sell this for $10 in my booth at the antique mall, so start off with a little $8 profit, uh, staying in the clock genre, as it were, I found this for three American dollars, now it does have this it's plastic, but it does look like it's uh, got that wicker. It does have that boho kind of look. And uh, $3 is dirt cheap. Now on the back, you will see it has a compartment for a C battery. Always look for a C battery compartment when you're looking at clocks, because usually the older clocks will have a C battery. So if you're looking to determine how old something is, a lot of times that C battery will tell you right away that uh, it's uh, 70s at least. That's what this one is. I'm going to sell this for 18 bucks. It does work. So $3 to 18. That's a lot. That's a good markup at an antique mall or even a flea market. So um, next thing I found is a little bittersweet. First of all, these two bad boys. Look at that. Holy smokes. Flower power. And I mean it. Uh, these were $1.50 each. So $3 for the pair, I'm going to sell them for 12 Not a killer markup, but a pretty good markup. Um, I wish there was more of these. I'd buy these all day long for $1.50, as many as they had, because I love the uh, late 60s, early 70s vibe coming off these mugs. All right, next thing I found. Oh, let's, get, let's do this. <clears throat> I don't deal in vintage games very often but when the price is right i will start to dabble i found two nice games in their box dirt cheap this one was two dollars tumble bug this one Snapcat was three dollars uh, this has all the pieces. The other one, Tumblebug, has all the pieces. And the boxes are in really good shape. So I don't mind uh, getting into something that I'm not uh, an expert in. But I know these uh, 70s uh, games, they do sell. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But at 2 and 3, that's, that's the price you want to get in at. You don't want to overpay for these because you might have them for a while. Uh, I think I'm going to sell this for about 12 and this one for about 16 bucks. So, uh, you know, I'm looking at 27 bucks roughly off of five on the weird. This one's made by Kenner. You also want to look for those names of toy companies you're familiar with. Kenner, Marks. Uh, that's an old game. And, uh, you know, it'll sell eventually. Now, the next thing I found, it's no secret that I love vintage clown stuff i mean i'm a i have one day we'll do a tour of some of my vintage clown stuff i found this 
three-dimensional. Do you see that? Graphic relief style clown. This was $3 American. And I had a 3D cat that sold for about $35 almost instantly. So these 3D pictures are cool if you can find them. Clown is not as good as a, you know, cute, cute kitten, but this will still sell uh, for 16 bucks, 17 bucks. I paid three for it, $3. And uh, clowns sell, they always do. Some people just like the uh the uh, freakish nature of clowns or the or the uh creepy clowns so people collect clowns it's uh i happen to be one of those people i will i don't dare admit it that i collect clowns but they've got to be spectacular for me to get involved all right i don't always buy records i don't have the patience to go through records but sometimes i will if i see that there's a few cheap ones and the price is right i'll start looking uh which is the case that I happened to find this Mick Ronson album. Wow. For people in the know, Mick Ronson was David Bowie's guitarist on all those good early uh, Bowie, Ziggy Stardust type albums. And uh, Mick Ronson, great guitar player. This is a solo album, Slaughter on 10th Avenue, which I think is a Ventures song. I haven't listened to this yet. What I'm going to do, listen to it. And then I'm going to put it in my booth for $15. I'm going to make $10 because this is a pretty rare album. Don't see these very often. It's on a weird label. Uh, you know, look for those weird labels too. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to get about 15 bucks off this Mick Ronson album because you just don't see it very often. And I recognize the rarity when I saw it. And like I said, I don't always do records. But when when they're uh, hard to find, I, I, I take note. So uh, we're down to our last two things, y'all, and uh, they're the heavy hitters. They're the two nicest things I found. Save them for the end. Uh, first up, 60s, mid-century modern desk lamp. Um, you can't really see it. This camera's not going to do it justice, but this is a kind of a soft pink. This is, uh, I believe they call this Dusty Rose. Why do I know that? I mean, come on. What's what have I done with my life? Dusty Rose, I believe, is the this was 15 bucks, but it was 20% off this booth. So 1250 for the cool Dusty Rose 60s desk lamp. Working, very important. Um, I'm gonna sell this for $32. I'm gonna make about 20 bucks off of this. 60s lamp it's not the greatest lamp but room to make money for sure and people always buy they love accent pieces if you're going for a mid-century house or apartment or you just want vintage stuff gotta have a desk lamp uh this one's nice twenty dollars profit so we're down to our final thing and i was stunned when i saw the price of this next item uh me and my girlfriend uh couldn't believe uh what we were looking at when we when we saw this um this set of blue kind of checkered flower glasses in the carrier now when i walked up on this i expected the price to say at least thirty dollars uh and it did not say thirty dollars it said twelve dollars holy smokes get it in the cart that's what I said. Get it in the cart. This set of glasses is pretty spectacular because you don't see this pattern very often. And I do incredible with drink uh, cocktail glasses in the carrier. This I'm going to ask for 55 bucks in my booth at the Antique Mall. 55 off of 12 So, man, there was a lot of meat on that bone. Uh, all told, let's look at everything. I spent $45, uh, 45 bucks. And when it's all said and done through eBay, through Facebook Marketplace, my booth at the Antique Mall, most of this stuff will probably be booth. I'm going to make $181, 181 off 45. That's just one afternoon, lazy Sunday at a, at a flea market and, uh, you know, $140 profit. So just for looking around and um, didn't find anything for my personal collection, but that doesn't matter. We had a great time um, and you can do it too. Remember, uh, 
Use your Google Lens. Get out there into those thrift stores and check it out. All right, let's get to what we're giving away this week. That's why a lot of people are here. I get that. Um, so, uh, I love... I love the 60s. I love 60s stuff. And this is a cool 60s item. Accent piece that is uh, lightweight, easy to ship. Uh, but you can win it by commenting and being a subscriber. Uh, and I found this also at the uh, Queen City Flea Market. This guy. Oh, it is a tissue dispenser. You put this over your box of tissues, and bam, roosters. Very popular in the 60s. There's a lot of roosters. Hand-painted. This is cool. It's got a great, like, wood grain to it. Uh, it's in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks, no loss of paint, which is somewhat rare for these kind of things. So this is the prize, ladies and gentlemen. This rooster tissue box cover. And it can be yours. Remember, comment on this episode. Be a subscriber. And I'll send this to your house, courtesy Mid Mod Money. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, you guys have been a fantastic uh, subscriber ship. Thanks for watching. Always round up.